Welcome to Let's Play Forza Motorsport 4, part 170. And we're gonna do some focusing, huh? <laughs> ah, kill me. Anyways, I'm driving the uh, 2013 Focus ST for this segment. You notice? B class. We're going up to B class now. Done with C class for the US events. We're going up to B class. And I'm going to upgrade the tires on this thing to the Sport Compound. Why? I don't know. It's low enough in B class. I felt like it was, uh. justifiable. Yeah. Anyways, it's time for the Focus Club. We went to the Ford Focus family, so yay. So, let's just get started with this shit. We got three races around the three sh of short tracks that we've been going to like 15 million times, and let's start at Road Atlanta. Okay, here we go. Road Atlanta short four laps. Let's do what the fuck is that digital? <laughs> that is a big display on that di odometer. Inside the car. That's going to be interesting to look at in race two. When's Grand Prix circuits? Not yet. I don't know when we're going to have Grand Prix circuits, Denny. Probably not till like, I don't know, S-Class or something. Hey, don't you know? It's just whenever the game decides, hey, let's let's go around the full circuits finally, okay? Okay. I mean, we still are in the amateur section, I guess, of the game, so... It's just a very, very large amateur section. So here we go. Up to second. These tires are really helping me. Which is more difficult for me, third person or in car uh, driving. It depends on the track and car. Like. I don't know. If the car is very oversteery, it's harder in the third person for me to drive around it. Um, but if, like, visibility is not very good in car, and I can't see, like, apexes on tracks, it depends on the track as well. I can't see apexes very well, and it's harder in car, you know. So getting in these tires is a good idea, otherwise I'd probably not stand a chance <laughs> at winning here. Although it is a four lap race, so you know. I would have had time to catch Davis, but whatever. But he's got that acceleration advantage. But I have the Aston Martin grill, therefore my car is better. Check out my Aston Martin focus, man. DB9 hatchback, bro. I don't know. Still love this fucking stupid phase when Ford's like, oh, hey, we own Aston Martin. Um, let's put the Aston Martin grill on all of our fucking Fords. And it looked really silly for some cars, like the Focus. Actually, no, this doesn't look that bad, but there's one car I've actually seen in real life. It might have been a later year Focus where, like, the grill was smaller than this, but it was also, like, lower, and it just looked really weird and silly. Also, the fucking Ford Fusions during this phase was like, oh, hey, look, it's Aston Martin. Uh, no, nope, that's just a Fusion. Never mind. Like, seriously, the Ford Fusions were just a less stylish Aston DB fucking DB9. It's just like, god damn it. <laughs> Fuck you, Ford. <laughs> M3 GTO road car does exist. How many were built? Oh boy. I'm gonna guess, uh, 20. And before, like, 10 or something. Nikes. 
Ooh, getting that uh, moderate power front wheel drive car understeer. Because, you know, what's throttle control? Gotta match the throttle and spin the front tires, therefore providing fucking mountains of understeer. I think it's safe to say I don't really know how to drive uh, front-wheel drive cars very well. Just don't fit my driving style. Because, like, if a car is oversteery, you know, I'm fine with throttle control and stuff, with, like, you know, spinning the rear tires. There are six of them. Six of the GTRs, well then. But yeah, like, if it's a rear wheel drive car and the car oversteer through wheel spin, I can kind of throttle control that, but I just don't know how to. Th I haven't taught myself how to use throttle control in a front wheel drive car, because I'm not used to, like, adjusting the throttle for, th for understeer. So, I don't know, it's weird. Let's see if I can learn on this car with two races remaining. Probably not. Alrighty, race two at Maple Valley Short. Hey, we get to look at the uh, the trip meter. Okay, it's not as large as I thought it was going to be. I thought the screen was like fucking gigantic, but oh well. All right, I can still see it fairly easily. It probably doesn't translate well to the well, definitely the stream because of the bit rate and also maybe the video because of YouTube compression. But I can see it just fine from my TV. How you doing, Taylor? Nope, oh, Taylor kind of trying to shove me off the track. Okay. Easy on the throttle. Don't spin the tires. Therefore, creating no steering. Not even understeer, just no steer. Ford logo so bright. the adventure trying to get around all these guys. Ooh, especially if I do that. Slide the car everywhere. Almost out of control. Oh, hello, uh, Miller. I keep thinking Miller's in, like, black cars. No, that's Jones. Miller's in, like, dark blue cars. Like, they're just so dark that they look black from a distance or some shit. I don't even know. Crash my way around Miller, who's actually having a pretty good run, you know, in the top four. Might lose fourth to Taylor here, I'm not sure. I'm trying to look at it through my mirror. It's like he's able to hold off Taylor. Okay. I'll go around the right side of Williams. How you doing, buddy? the inside lane and the hairpin. That's racist. Shut up. He said black racism. Can you hand me the black crown? That's racist. Can you hand me the black crown? No, you fucking racist. It's African American cray crayon. Me? I don't know. Shut up, me. Wait, no, it's crayon of color. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Hi, Davis, how you doing? I'm diving on you a little too hard. Okay, I was a little bit late on the brakes. Whoops. Oh, is he gonna back off? He backed off. Absolutely saw that coming. African American by Crayola, yes.
This race is seven miles long so far. Almost eight. And eight miles on the on the trip meter. I almost said the odometer. It's the trip odometer. There is like a full odometer, like around the very bottom right of the display in car, but I can't fucking see it. It's way too small. Be cool if you could like cycle through menus on cars like this in the game. It'd be interesting. Also, since we're doing normal Maple Valley, gotta do that in the race in pit lane. Like a dumbass. Alright, two races down, one to go. Let's go to it. Okay, final race at Sunset Peninsula. We're starting with the infield section, so... <clears throat> to win the race, I may or may not have to do some defensive driving down the straight. I guess we'll find out in four laps. Ooh, sneaking through the middle. Surprised that worked. And Taylor got the advantage on uh, Davis. Okay. And so did I. Oop. Heard contact behind me. Brown went super wide. Someone lost a full tire and wheel assembly at in the fucking Super GT race. <clears throat> you know. Core things. Oh yeah, here comes Davis. Straightaway, this uh, the speedway section is gonna be very interesting here. Slipstream Taylor. <clears throat> That's a very short fifth gear. Distance to Taylor. Oh shit. Hi, how you doing? Side damage from a frontal impact, yay. Okay. Doesn't look like it's gonna be too difficult to get around Taylor, it's just a matter of actually doing it. Do it there. So let's just slipstream as much as possible down the straightaway, or yeah, the speedway section. I keep wanting to say straightaway, but it's, you know, speedway turn one and also the front straight. second on me down the uh, speedway section. Okay. Yep. No, nope, not quite enough. I knew he was going to uh, not give me the lane there. Just have to find a better way around him. Holy shit. Side. There we go. He'll probably pass me back here before we uh, leave the speedway, but actually, no, he's not going to. Maybe. No, he's not gaining on me. Now he is. But is he gaining on me enough? I don't think so. It's going to get close. Got about one car length behind. Not bad. 
But I held on to the lead, so. As long as I get a good run out of it, back onto the speedway, and won't have to worry about blocking at all. <laughs> almost turned right into the grass as I wasn't paying attention. Oh, here comes Taylor again. That yeah, well, was very early on the brakes. I think Taylor looking inside screwed him over because he slowed down a lot more than normal. And yeah, I got plenty. 200 feet's more than enough me to easily take the win here. Fucking short ass fifth gear. There we go. Nice and smooth for the most part. And then Jones is just kind of a, I don't know what the hell Jones has been doing. Had enough focus, a <laughs> bad pun, to uh, win the races. So that concludes the Focus Club and our first B-Class event in the North American stuff. Blah, blah, blah. So with that, stay tuned for more Forza 4 in their next U.S. series. Ah!